If you think the roads look good enough to be on, think again. Here's video from a rollover involving a truck on Interstate 94 from earlier today. Unconfirmed reports say the driver made it out okay. Valley News Team's Veronica Marshall went for a ride with a snowplow operator today and found that even the most experienced drivers can be surprised. John Skedsbold is a North Dakota native, so he understands the urge to drive, even when roads are bad. Well, I was young and dumb once. Of course, now he knows from experience to listen to the experts. Currently, major roadways across the area are closed due to poor visibility and drifting snow. With the whiteout conditions, it's hard to see even when those drifts are coming. It will catch you off guard really quickly. It does not take long with high winds like this for the drifts to build up rapidly. But Skesbold is still out driving because now he's trying to make the roads safer. He's been with the Department of Transportation for more than a decade and knows the risks drivers take when they ignore warnings and weather conditions. But the gates are closed for a reason. It's for their safety as well as the safety of the operators. If you think you're going to make it through in a small pickup or a car, you would be surprised because uh, otherwise you'd be like us out here waiting on a tow truck. That's right. Even in a plow, even with an expert driver on I-94 just past Castleton, we got stuck in the snow too. I am stuck inside a snow plow right now. It is so wet and windy and snowy that even this 80,000 pound vehicle could not make it through the roads, which means you probably won't either. We were eventually towed out of the snowbank by more DOT vehicles, but the typical driver won't be so lucky. Their vehicle could be stuck in the snow until roads reopen, and that's not the only danger they face. We have a pickup in front of us right now, um, also stuck in a snowbank, and if we can't see him and we come through these drifts, it's a very dangerous situation for everybody. And if you still need one more reason to stay home, if you're caught driving on a closed road in North Dakota, you could be fined up to $250. In Minnesota, that jumps up to a $1,000 fine and possible jail time. In Fargo, Veronica Marshall, Valley News Live. The DOT says their plows and other vehicles are getting stuck in the snow today because the snow is so wet and heavy, there's absolutely no traction.